is what it says, he regarded disgrace for the sake of Christ as greater value than the treasures of Egypt because he was looking ahead to his reward. You know what Moses do? The penny dropped. He was doing it for God. He took the job on because he got something he could do for God. Incredible. And, and he took his eyes off the circumstances and his fact that he was clumsy with words and he had his eyes set on God. And when we take a job on for God, let's do it for God. And when things get going rough and tough and difficult, remember you're doing it for God and that he's called you to do it. You know, Moses was thinking about an eternal reward. He wasn't looking at the earth, he was looking ahead for the eternal reward that he knew God had for him. And here's another thing that says in Hebrews chapter 11 about Moses. He had his eyes on the one no eye could see, so he kept right on going. He had his eyes on God. So by putting his eyes on God and not on circumstances, he was able to have the strength to make the tough decisions and tough choices in his life. Here's what D.L. Moody said about Moses. He spent the first 40 years thinking he was somebody. Wow, I'm, I'm somebody. He spent the next 40 years in the backside of a desert looking after sheep, realising he was a nobody. He finally spent the last 40 years learning what God can do with a nobody. God wants to do something great in all of our lives. And you might think doing a menial task is not great. Well, it is great if that's what God's called you to do. It will be something to do with something you like doing, something that you're naturally good at. God wants to do something in your life. We've got to get our eyes off the here and now and get our eyes on eternity because that's what we should be living for. So I just want to tell you now, do you want to hear about how these verses affected me? Everyone awake? Well, when I was 18, I went to a, a Christian Christmas camp at Eastern Beach, which is Willow Park, which is just an eastern coast of or, um, Auckland. And our whole family went. I was 18, so we all went to Eastern Beach Christmas camp. It was about six or eight days, started on Boxing Day. And there was a speaker there called Noel McKernan. Noel McKernan was a, a retired missionary, and he was actually home on furlough. He retired lo uh, long after that, and he became a lecturer at the Assembly Bible School. And Noel McKernan was talking about these very verses at this Eastern Beach camp, and I was there 18. And I was a Christian on Sunday. I was certainly not a Christian on the rest of the week. And I had a foot in both camps. And you know what? I was, I was over it. I was over it. And what, I'm, just what happened to me, it was decision time. And when Noel talked about these verses, he talked about, there were mainly a lot of young people at this camp. He was saying, we've got to decide if we're going to accept God's calling on our life. You've got to make a decision. And I felt like he was speaking to me. And so I made a decision that day that I was going to become a real follower of Jesus. And my life's never been the same. How about that? So that's how these verses affected me. And um, I'll never forget that. I've just got a prayer. Father, we do pray that you will use us to make a difference in our world. God, you have invited us just as you invited Moses long ago. You're ready to do something in our lives and through our lives right now, even if that scares us. God, give us the strength to do something we couldn't do on our own. Give us the strength to get outside of our comfort zone. Give us the strength to trust in you, the God who will always be with us whenever we face whatever we face. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.